Hey guys, it's Alexis here, and welcome to part two of the Ultra Space Time Rush battles. This is the level five, as you could see, and yeah, it's part two. I'm a bit more chill than before, and let's do the difficult part of this. So the challenge is to use at least one yellow character. So let's use Gohan. Yeah, we'll use Gohan. I made a really weird noise then. But yeah, we got to use at least like... I think if we use two other red characters, we'll be okay. So I'm actually going to pull out Kale because she's one of my better characters. She's one of my best characters. So um, it's a really good choice. And she'll be able to outpower the other Goku red character. So yeah, that should be good. Um, I'm probably going to get pretty serious in this one. Because this is where the OPness for my enemy starts and my, um... I have to not make mistakes. I love the way the Torment of Power Arenas in Dragon Ball Legends, but not in Dragon Ball Fighters. <laughs> Even though Ultra Instinct Goku just came out in Kefla, so shots, I guess. <laughs> but it looks really cool in this game. It looks really good. Wow, I've absolutely plowed through 17. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it's nearly over for him. Time to use my waifu Kale. Let's blast through this Goku-san who's taken away Khalifla. Son Goku. Let's do it, Kale. Let's kill Goku. <laughs> Let's take Goku out of this torment of power. Rising Rush is so cool in this game. I'm glad it's- it, this kind of makes the game. It's kind of an OP mechanic, but you also got to hit it properly, and if your opponent's good, they can dodge it, so... It's about timing and skill, and it's just really cool. So I managed to switch into Vegeta before Beerus hit that. My friend has a co-op of Super, but he really likes Beerus, and he uses him in fighters and uses that move with the energy walls. It's so cool. Okay, so this Beerus is hitting pretty hard, to be honest. Time to combo, guys. Yeah, this Vegeta's ability, Pure Evil, is really good because it makes his physical attacks so cheap. Like, four for a power attack. Are you serious? Just that mad recovery that Vegeta just did. It was so cool. Big Bang attack. So, the computer was pretty smart there. It deliberately switched Goku in, so Beerus didn't take the attack. So, in my last video, I was talking about that. Sometimes it's good to sacrifice a team member, so the others can stay more healthy, and then you win the game. Let's switch into Kale. It looks like this match is over, though, because, um, 17's really messed up, so... Oh, a disrespectful forehead flick. Beerus is going to get it now. No tuna for you tonight. Seventeen. You want me to win, right? But yeah, that's the end for seventeen. Unless he counters, but it's pretty much over anyway. Unless 17 gets Ultra Instinct and beats me. <laughs> That'd be pretty scary. Yeah, the game's over. Nice, so we won the first out of the five battles that we have left. Kale's just gonna go insane. Oh yeah, if you guys aren't aware, most of you guys probably know, but the reason I have to pick and choose which characters I use is that for each tier of this challenge, like for each rush set, if you use a character, even if you win or lose, they're gone. So you can only use them once. So you've got to really know when you want to use them. So I try and use some weaker characters to make sure I've got my strong characters for the really tough battles I need them for to win. And to do the challenges. So, yeah, it's interesting. Okay, I had a quick drink. So this time we need to use a green character. This isn't really a 
detriment. It's more just randomly using a green character this time. So I am going to use Bardock. I'm going to use Mr. Bardock and that's pretty good. So let's choose a really good red character. I want to choose... I'm going to choose Broly. And then for Bulma, I'm going to choose... I need to choose a blue. So I'm going to use Kid Trunks. Kid Future Trunks. There you go. Interesting team. In the next battle, I'm really going to bring out the big guns. I'm also going to bring out Rip Rian and Kakunsa. So you guys are going to love that. Whether you guys like it or not, I'm going to do PvP with the Ribrian, Rosie, and Cocoon Star. Because I've been waiting to get Rosie for so long. <laughs> you guys will learn to love them, because they're actually really good in Legends as well. I do like event battles with them, and they're really powerful. And I think they all get powered up if you use them all as a team. So it's really cool. Looks like Broly is just going to manhandle these guys. He's really OP. Okay. Oh, he stunned Broly. That's not very nice. Trunks, go fight your mum. <laughs> I can't think of any good jokes today, but um, a lot of Dragon Ball Legends are just dodging at the right time. I love the way Bulma's a unit in this game. I've trained them all to max power, so... If you're new and you're not aware, I save up all my Chrono Crystals for waifus. Oh, I forgot about this Trunks. He goes Super Saiyan. That's really cool. This Trunks doesn't have an advantage, but I'm going to keep him in. He's doing good damage. Finish him off, Toranksa. Trunks is done for. Jeez, that was really good. I like the way um, Future Kid Trunks uses Masenko. That's really cool, because that's Gohan's move, obviously. His master Gohan taught him it. It is good to use Rising Rush early, because if the game goes on long enough, you can get another one. And like, why would you save it when you can get another one later? It just takes a little bit of skill and, you know, using a lot of moves to get the next one. Because the longer it goes on for, the harder it is to get another one, but I think I've had three in a battle before. So, in event battles where you run the timer down, it's really possible to get loads of them. And they're honestly too useful not to use. Come on, Trunks, you can do it. No, Bardock's coming in. Bulma, how could you try and take out your own son? That's not very nice at all. I guess this past Bulma doesn't know it's her son, though, so I guess I'll let her off. Well, that's never a really good tap from me. That's a really cool move from Bardock there. Can we finish it with the Broly move? Yeah, we did it. That's pretty cool. Rage out, Broly. Go, Broly, go. You guys probably got that reference. Good job, Broly. You did it. I didn't get the chi unit. I really wanted the Broly and chi but I didn't get. I couldn't get it. Because I was saving for another waifu, but I really wanted it. I felt the, the supreme kind of time... I, I'll say that again, I couldn't talk. I've heard the supreme Kai of time is coming out, Kronoa, in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. I heard she's also coming out in Legends, which I hope's the case, because she's so cute. I'm saving up for her, I'm saving up for the anniversary thing now. Okay, so I've got to use a purple, which is a disadvantage. So I'm going to use Turles, because he's one of my better, more resilient purples. So I'm going to have to use a red unit. I'm going to choose Vidal, who's one of my best units. She's really good. Does the Great Saiyan number two. 
I think I'm also going to use... I'm going to use Gogeta because I feel like it. I'd say Gogeta is one of my most overpowered units because um, every time he hits with a physical attack, his power of that goes up. So I'll show you in a second. It's really, really good. I would normally use Vidal because I'm really good with her, but um, I want to show off Gogeta's skill. It's like a passive skill he has, it's really good. So you see, every time I hit the strike arts, it goes up in power, so it's really powerful. Gonna use the Stardust Breaker and that winded Vegeta, so he can't stop me. You see, Gogeta's really good. <laughs> Double switch for Vidal, because Vidal is Bay, And Vidal's really good. She has a skill like Vegeta where her um, physical attacks get lower cost, but they're really, really strong, so... It costs more than Vegeta, but you'll see. That's a really good. It's really cool. She has style, grace and power, so she's the full package. Okay, this guy's really railing on me. Time for Turles to earn his bread in a minute. It's Khalifla. I love Khalifla. I'm gonna save my Rising Rush for Android 13, because he's a pain in the butt. He can take loads of damage, it's surprising. Get him, Gogeta! That was cool. That's it for Kalufla, that was so easy. Hmm. Time for Turles to do his thing. You see, Turles can take a lot of damage. And if he eats his um, fruit from the Tree of Mai, he gets really strong. Like, Turles, this Turles is legitimately really good. I just haven't had a chance to really make use of his um, abilities because he's like the unit I had to pick out of obligation, not out of me wanting to pick him. I just had a quick drink and I barely made it back to dodge. But yeah, that's the end of that fight. As you can see, Gogeta is really OP. <laughs> that's why I saved him till last, because that probably would have been quite tough without him. I'm saving my last fusion for the last battle because um, it's my Vegito from the event and I maxed him out completely. So he's really good. He has so much defense, it's not even funny. So there's two more battles now. So I need a blue unit. I think after this they're going to have two health bars. So I've got to pick my like secondary team. I'm going to pick Ribrian because you guys love her so much. And I legitimately love Ribrian. I think she's awesome. <laughs> so I'm picking Ribrian. Got to pick a yellow. I want to pick Rosie but I can't. I'm going to pick... Where is the character? I'm going to pick Goku Black. Because um he's pretty good. And finally I'm gonna pick a blue I've oh, picked blue. So I've got to pick a a red unit. There you go. My brain was um not working there. You could cue like a meme where it does the dial up thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna pick Super Saiyan 3 Goku and just see how it goes. I think I'll be okay with this team. Yeah, please let me know if you enjoy these kind of videos because I'm really enjoying it so far. Make sure to hit the like button if you haven't already and comment in the regular comments if you have already seen this when you're watching it as a premiere. Because YouTube promotes videos that have lots of comments. So I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. But anyway, we got to concentrate now. I've got to use Goku Black to really mess up Rildo. Goku Black's ability is really risky, but if you time it right, it's really OP. He basically makes his defense go down a lot, but then he does loads of damage. So if he's nearly dead, you can just um, 
use him up completely and then take out everyone with him. Oh, I just used it without thinking. What What did you just say, Alexis? That's what I get because I'm trying to talk at the same time. Get him, Ribrian san Pretty cannon. Pretty cannon is really cool. Ribrian's legitimately really good, though. So that was pretty good, wasn't it? <laughs> Ribrian's awesome, I love her. She's beautiful and thick. And even when she isn't transformed, she's beautiful, so... Oh yeah, don't make fun of Ribrian because she gets extra thick when she powers up. That's like being mean at Freezer for going all effeminate when he's at max power. Everyone's different. Don't be mean to people because their talents make them look different. They look awesome. I know Ribrian and San hangs out on my comment section and watches these videos, so shout out to Ribrian. The power of love will help me win this rush battle tournament. I'm getting in a huge rant because I love Ribrian. But yeah, this fight's going really well. I got into a really passionate rant and then didn't realize how well this was going. So Rildo is out of there. Time to use Super Saiyan 3 Goku's extreme power and win this battle. I personally really like Super Saiyan 3. I think it was underused. It's really cool. Like design wise, some people don't like it, but I think it looks amazing. As well as Super Saiyan 4, they're both awesome. I do like Super Saiyan 4 because Goku achieved it all on his own. It's just a testament to how like much Goku how much hard work Goku put in to training. So we let the really awesome Super Saiyan 3 Goku have his moment of victory like he always should. Gonna have another quick drink and then we're gonna go into the final battle. I was just skipping through the little animation. Yeah, that little screen with all the items is all the stuff I'm getting for doing the challenges, as well as the battles themselves. So this is the final battle, and these characters will have two bars of health, so it's going to be really tough. So we got to use a regeneration character. I want to use Piccolo, but I'm actually going to use Margin Boo. I might use both, actually. Because gaining some health back is going to be really useful. Where is Boo? There he is. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to use Piccolo. I'm going to use Big Green as well. If you guys know what that reference is. It's Big Green. Oh, I'm sad. I didn't get to use Pan. I was saving her and then I saved her for too long. My bad. Okay, I've got Super Saiyan Blue Goku, but I'm going to use the ultimate finish Goku because he is really OP and he's really powerful. Like, I might win, I might not, but I'm going to try. But I can keep going even if I don't, so we'll wear them down if not. But I want to try and win without going in twice. Okay, I'm going to concentrate here. You guys are going to see some skills if I can muster them up. Here goes. That epic music there. A warrior from Boo. Boo laying on the thick damage, like his thick body. I just, I'm just saying really random stuff now. Okay, so Mai's pretty good. What's with this scary music? I don't remember this music the last time I did this. I might have had the volume off, maybe. Flame shower breath, go! Oh no, why do I waste the healing magic? What's wrong with me? Oh well. 
Wow, that's doing a lot of damage. Goku's going Super Saiyan immediately. Let's do this, guys. I know we can. Come on, Piccolo. You can do it. I really like Piccolo, by the way. He's really underrated, even though he is popular. Let's do the Rising Rush. Let's do this, Big Green. I think we're going to have to use three Rising Rushes to win this. At least. I think accidentally using Boo's healing ability is going to really screw me over. Okay, so Piccolo can heal that off. I love Boo's little um, flip in the air. It's so cool. Oh, Boo is fading fast. That is not good at all. Oh no, we're going to have to let Boo die. Come on, Mr. Boo. You can block it. I believe in you. No, we lost Boo. Yeah, Boo's done for. I'm sorry. He tried, though. His sacrifice will not be in vain. Come on, Goku. You can do it. In hindsight, I shouldn't have done that, but it was fun. How is that for strong, guys? I believe in my Piccolo, though. He's pretty good. I've been using him for a long time. Okay, so it's time to regenerate some damage. Yeah, they've made this more difficult, I think. I'm definitely going to have to go in twice. I'm going to have to go in once with Vegito. Wow, Piccolo lost so much health there. Piccolo is in trouble here, guys. Goku's going to have to go in for the save. It's time to show Vegito what we got. Then me or energy, everyone. I'm going to have to slap Sanya out of the way to get to Vegito, so... Rip Rising Rush, let's do it. Let's use our full power. Poor Zanya got two Rising Rushes, oof. On the right side, I might be able to use Pan if I have to come back in. Actually, yeah, Pan's super effective against Vegito. Pan would be perfect against Vegito. Pan will get her chance after all, by the looks of it. Get out of here, Mai. Oh, he, he kicked me before I could do it. The, um, you full freezer blast. I haven't even got rid of Geo's first bar of health. It's crazy. But yeah, this Goku is super good. I had to sacrifice Piccolo there. We'll at least get Vegito down to one bar or not. He'll just switch as, as per usual. You see, the computer's protecting Vegito on purpose, which is very smart of it. It's the good best move to make. I took two of them out. That's pretty good. I'm pretty proud of myself. Okay, so we got Vegito down to one bar of health. We might actually win this, guys. I haven't. I didn't give up before. It's just tough. If he does Rising Rush, it's kind of a coin toss, though. We might just lose because of Rising Rush. Come on, Goku. You can do it. Come on, guys. We got this. Oh my goodness, I got the ultimate finish. <laughs> That's crazy. Goku is OP, guys. That was ridiculous. <laughs> but amazing. 
Roll up the story. Goku is the MVP. <laughs> He's the main character. That was amazing. I take it back. Pan's assistance will not be needed. <laughs> That's why I picked Goku and saved him for last, guys. He gets stronger the longer he fights, I believe. It's just crazy. <laughs> His ultimate finish is so strong. So there you go. We've got all of them cleared. So I'll stop the gameplay now because my computer has to render every second. So give her a little bit of rest. But thank you guys so much for watching. Type hashtag Goku MVP in the comments below and also in the regular comments because I think Goku deserves that. That was crazy. <laughs> So hashtag Goku MVP. Also, comment down below anything else you want to comment. Please like the video if you enjoyed it because it really means a lot. Follow me on Twitter. The link's down below. As well as the link to my Patreon if you want to support me there. I'm thinking of making some tiers for it soon. So it might be worth your time if you're interested to get more stuff from me. And follow me on Instagram. It's all in the description. And by now the Discord will be up. So also join the Discord. The link to it's in the description. Anyway, this is nearly, this is like 26 minutes long. So I'm not going to take too much more of your time. If you've gotten to this point, thank you so much. I love you guys. And yeah, more importantly, I hope you have a lovely day. Make sure to tell your family you love them. Make people feel wanted, you know? Just remind your parents of how much you love them or, you know, your friends, everyone. Because that's what life's all about. But anyway, thank you so much. I'll see you soon. And yeah, I love you guys. Bye.